Hey guys, Robert Shunkdom here, back with some more Elder Scrolls Legends. Recently made a video on how this patch affects me, or things about the patch that I know of. And now, without further ado, let's get into the Versus Arena, the Chaos Arena of this week. Now, I will tell you something. I've only played one solo arena, didn't do too well in it. And I know arena is fun, and that you can get profit off of it if you're a really, really good arena player. But I just don't want to spend my time that way. But, oh! You get to choose. Totally gonna do the Chaos Arena, because it's a one time thing. Alright. That's why we get an arena ticket. Oh, we're. What the? Okay. They're all intelligence, which is kind of interesting. I don't know the latter of what's best, but I know that Assassin is mine. Okay, I think so too. Now, that is just hilarious, that picture, by the way. Alright, pick time remaining. Uh, which one of these is most runnable? Realistically, probably the Murkwater Savage. Okay, Murkwater Savage it is. That's really late, but it's most powerful than these. Ooh, that is the most valuable, I would have to say. Cunning ally. Okay, we're looking at mostly green right now. Murkwater butcher is just... Uh, I like the cunning ally. Lightning bolt. No question there. Barded war or Camlorn sentinel is what I'm looking at. They're both guards. This one's a prophecy, however, and we have a Kars Reaper. But we also have Murkwater Savage. But we also have a cunning ally, so all the more reason to go blue. Wardcrafter or Tovani Arcanus is what I'm looking at because we're not going to run supports that much. That's a terrible card. In my opinion. Tovani Arcanus or Wardcrafter. Think this is more powerful. Lightning Bolt. Oh, <laughs> these are all good cards, but I think Lightning Bolt's the way to go. Tome of Alteration or Lilindril Hexmage. How many actions we got? One, two. We have two actions. You know what? Let's do it. Camlorn Sentinel. Or finish off for the Lil and Jill. <laughs> this is for the... So the Counting Ally Synergy. And it's just a pretty good card. Just a pretty good card. Lil and Jill Hexmage Synergy. I think I'm going to go... Wait, how much removal? One, two, three-ish. Four-ish. Five. That's a lot of removal. But I think they're both more powerful than the blue guy. I'm going to go with the really powerful removal. No. Thank you. Excuse me. A Servorid or Tome? I feel like there's not going to be a whole lot of silences, so Tome. That's discouraging. But I'm going to go with the Tristan Tower Crafter. Ooh. Epic cards. That's just a powerful card. This is like combos, and this is just a powerful card, especially when lack of direct removal is in the case. That's a good card, but that's also good. Aggress they're both aggressive cards, and I'm not going to pick the far sight. I like this one more because most players will have to, will want to remove this, I am assuming. I've actually never seen this before. Shuffle all prophecy cards in your hand into your deck and draw that many cards. It's like a waste of time. That's a powerful card. I've actually never seen this either. Summon. Huh. That is very situational. That's just a powerful card. I want a 2 3 because that's good trades. Well, that's a good card. That's a good card. That's a good card. We're going to go with this one. Ooh, that's a really good card. This is conditionals. I like this one. How's the curve doing? Let's take another 7 drop, shall we? Even though, oh, those were all good picks, the last one. I really should have thought about that more. Fate Weaver, pfft, no. Ash Servant is the way to go. We have a lot of blue cards, so Baron of Tayar might be good, too. But let's go with the Ash Servant. Karas Reaper. Why the heck not? Murkwater Shaman. Okay, at the end of the turn, if you play two actions, summon a random Atronach. No. Murkwater Shaman. Not gonna trigger, so it's three for a three three or a card draw or a combo piece that I don't want. 
we want that badly. Ooh, all terrible cards, if you ask me. How many death rattles do we have? I mean, I'm not even a Hearthstone player, like, at all, really. How many last gasps do we have? One. Five for a five four still isn't bad, because this is, like, a waste of mana, and so is this. Here we go. Cunning ally. I've never seen this one either. Steal all items from enemy creatures. That's not going to trigger in a million years. The curve. Five won't destroy the curve, and I like the giant snake. Personal preference. Ash Servant. Mm. How many Crystal Tower Crafters? Two. We have four actions. This is not looking healthy because we have two picks left. Let's go with the giant bat instead. Ooh, these are two good cards. I think this one's better. Okay. I think actions are not going to work. Okay. The king's afoot. Oh. Welcome, okay, so again, this is like Arena. Who are you? What are you the Immortal. Oh, I'm the Forgotten Hero Golden now. At the start of your turn, if you have the most creatures, deal two damage to the opponent. Graveyard. When a non-skeleton creature dies... Okay. Wow. So that's the Ring of Magicka now. That's not going to trigger anything. I'm going to get rid of those two. But that's a good combo, actually. I don't have the Elixir, though. No, I do! <laughs> I have the Ring! First off, say hello to all your opponents and like all the videos you watch on YouTube. I think we're going to do this because that deals two damage to the opponent. Wait, what? The start of my turn. Okay, never mind. Matt McBurney giving us a hello back. What a pro. Not going to do anything in a million years. I could play the Murkwater Savage and do nothing. And the bad news is he kills that for free. And this is not going to get pumped up. Should have thought through those picks a little bit more. Maybe. Maybe. Again, I am not a pro at Arena, but it's still fun to play this mode. My sword hand itches. He is definitely going to get that to work. And this is a shame, because I think he's going to kill it. So, no matter what I do here, he's going to get that damage off. I think I can play the Murkwater Savage. And then if he's... Okay, if this is a good player... You would probably not suspect this thing getting popped up next turn, right? I'm joking. Of course he is. He's going to take his opportunity and trade that there. Three mana for two mana. And he also traded a two mana earlier. Ouch. I stand to oh, and that just really hurts me, actually. Yep, he did what I thought he was going to do. Okay. Now what? I do not have a ton of removal. I want to place this here, and place this here, because I can stop damage coming to me there. Uh, oh, this is not a stealth lane! Oops. Now I know. This is not the stealth lane anymore, guys. This is the graveyard lane. Where we get 1-1 one -one skeletons. Is he gonna kill that? That would make sense. Then he's got a 4 4. Oh, what? Interesting. Maybe he wanted the 1 1s or something. I get a prophecy. We're on equal hand footings. <gasps> Excuse me. That is one of the only actions to trigger this, which is just hilarious if you ask me. I can also put the heirloom greatsword on him, kill that 4 damage source going to do that and do I really want to use this to play my heirloom and get it over with because he just gets a skeleton and then he has two skeletons I don't like that not one bit if I play the little draw mage in this round in this lane I can get the ballista tower to shoot at him if he doesn't play anything to contest it I like that play more 
And we attack his face because we want this guy to be alive for the next turn's heirloom greatsword. I already like, okay, by the addition of this Ring of Magicka and in this game, the pictures on the bottom, I feel like the the map, I'm going to call it, or the playboard, the playboard is a lot more artistic now, and I like it. And the the tags are automatically here. That Subtle things like that just make it a bit cooler for me. It's unfortunate. As this is trading there. So we got another rune. And this is not a stealth lane. Ouch. That really, really stings for me. Because if I play this in either lane, it's dead. And I get nothing. I could play Giant Bat, Murkwater Shaman, and I'm winning here all of a sudden again. But he's still got these 4, 6, and 2, 2 there. In which case, what do I do? Finish it off with the curse? I actually like that plan. So let's go here. Do this. Use our second ring. And play the Murkwater Shaman. Like I said, if this works out, I'll get a curse. And finish this off. And then I'll have... If I, look, if I do that, I can play the Heirloom. Or nope. He got a way around it. And so I can already finish it off, but I don't get my curse. And I... I don't have a shaman. That is really unfortunate. What if I play this Cars Reaper? Okay, I'm not liking the deck I built, guys. Not versus this Matt McVerney. Okay. I want to play this here. And draw in a spell. I think that, that's been changed, the sound effect. Okay. That's really good. And that's our turn. Oh, I forgot. Skeleton. And I'm taking damage. Okay, so this guy is fully using everything on this map, whereas I am obviously not. Which is interesting, because it's randomized every time, so it's not like he's practiced. Has he? Okay. Interesting. Necromancer's amulet. Please don't. Well, that's only fair. I got my trigger. He should get his. There's another rune. Hey. It's actually not bad. And I think I want to Car Sweeper finish off, even though that's a one that's not a very good use of the Car Sweeper. Gotta be honest. And he's smart, he's not giving me the rune. He can kill me next turn. I can only do one thing this turn. That frustrates me. I can kill this 3-5. I can giant snake. And the problem is, is when I giant snake this and kill his board, he gets two skeletons. That's not favorable. Not for me. And I'm taking two damage. Mm. I am not liking this game. <laughs> At the moment. Okay. Lots of guard there. So I'm not going to be able to destroy that. In which case he's going to do two guaranteed damage to me. And that's a whole lot of things. I just realized our deck has like no guard. I can Merc Water Witch into finish off. Then what? Nah, this game's basically dead. But I do have that shackle someone. If I kill this, he gets a skeleton. So I think I'm going to kill two damage then. Oh, I get a skeleton too. I forgot. I actually forgot. Alright, and then what? We play our... Oh, actually, I like this play. Ready? Boom. Oh! Cars Reaper now actually spits poison. I like that. Because before it looked like he was casting Firebolt on four people, and it made no sense. That makes me like this card a whole lot more, because I like the Karas. And now I can either play Finish Off on one of these guys, or on that guy. And we're not dead next turn. I pulled it out of the bag. Oh no, I forgot. I'm taking damage from the Ballista. And there's our Necrom. And we actually have the one last gas card, so next turn we will probably do this with a Finish Off. If I kill this one one, he's going to get another one. No crushing blow, right? Doesn't matter. Ha! This no longer destroys the ring of Magicka. Okay. What next? That's cool. 
doesn't do anything. That's the game. And into the next one we go. The Forgotten Hero is now in Golden. That's kind of interesting. Or elegant looking. Mm. When you summon a creature... Okay, I want a 3-drop, because the curve of this deck is pretty bad. Okay, I'm not going to be able to make very much use out of that barracks, but I can make use out of the shadow lane, and I can also make use of the hello. So next turn, I play my 2 for a 2-2 two -two that he might kill. Mm -hmm. He has the elixir. It's going to take some getting used to, or not the elixir, the ring. The ring of fire. This is, so, it's back to normal, except this lane you just, you put all your big guys into. Given this color combo, I don't think he's going to play, I think he's going to have about the same rate as I do for playing four or greater power cards. I do not have any immediate things to pump this up with. So he gets a free train. It really stinks. Like, no matter what I do. I can always draw this and not get it. Oh, I did get it. What? Usually, when it lets you end the turn early. I don't know. I'll just ignore it. Okay. Now, what does he want to do? He's going to ramp again. Hope he doesn't play anything else into this lane. That would draw him a card. That's cool, because I have the Firebolt. I also have the Murkwater Shaman into a Shadow Lane. Not like he had any charge. Hmm. Oh, I just realized. Firebolt. But it would be a pretty useless spell. I'm going to be real. It would do nothing. Because, okay, then I'd trade into here and he'd have a 3-1. whoop de doo I think I'd rather... Actually, if he's not going to kill this... And if I play the Murkwater Shaman, is he going to be smart and realize I better kill the Murkwater Shaman, or this, or both? Only time will tell. This will give him a rune, and I don't want to do that. What else do I want to do this turn? Ash Shervin also does nothing. Let's do this, and this. To see what he gets from the rune, and then play our Ash Servant in this lane, and burn that. Okay, not that big of a problem. And it is... a shadow lane. So that's good. And it looks like his deck does not have the... four power cards to get the draw from this either. So that's okay. The Chaos Arena is not really meant to be fair. It's just meant to be fun. And I think it will be. First rune, and what it's one of the few rune prophecies, I think, in my entire deck. So we destroy it. One damage. I'm scared. Firebolt for that, if we really, really need to. I feel like this would get destroyed, because this is not a shadow lane. Card Sweeper is cool. I want to play... Okay, let's destroy this, and play our Murkwater Shaman. This is a, f this is a card draw. Which is cool. So in two turns, I can do that. There's every possibility that with his big endurance cards, he could play like a young mammoth. Yeah! Wow! Like that. Which is unfortunate, because that is the ultimate value card in this scenario. He's, he effectively spent three mana for like a support thing. That wasn't the right analogy. He played a cantrip, is what the character called it. The effect is called. Oh, and that's annoying. Regenerate's not too bad. Guard, equally not too bad. Curse. Now that can save me three damage. If I really wanted to. Even though I was going to play Cars Reaper. And I just realized I probably should have played this first, so I had a 3-3 three, three on the board. Don't you agree? Yeah. What else do I want to do this turn? I can Mace of Encumbrance. Doesn't. Well, that just adds more face damage. And we're not at that point in the game yet. So I really should have played the Crystal Tower Crafter first. I really, really should have. 
because I don't want to invest into this board yet, because I just want to play the Cars Reaper, draw a card, kill whatever he's done. But he's likely to try and contest this, especially if I play any more cards. But we're going to give him the Prophecy- wow, there's actually a lot of Prophecies in this arena mode. That is really unfortunate. Which makes me want to play cards in this lane, like the Crystal Tower Crafter that literally could have been a 3-3. Don't want to play this now. Doesn't do anything. Oh, cutting ally. Actually, if I put it here, he can deal one damage to me and kill this. But I still am going to play the Cars Reaper and kill it then. And I have two firebolts now for the Crystal Tower Crafter to become a 4 4, which would be incredible value. He did it! Unless if he's going to heal it with one of his endurance healing spells that he totally picked up. I'm kidding, he didn't. But I do want him to play more in this lane, because then this will just be the, the bomb. That might be when be the game. Because we have equal hands at the moment. Yes, play that. Didn't get it. Okay. That's not very fair. I got mine. Twice. Although this deck is kind of built around blue. I mean, intelligence. That's uh, not too unfortunate. Just trade that in there. Alright. Cars Reaper. But first, let's give him the rune. We're not even going to get him a rune. Okay. That is really awesome. What did I draw? Oh, dude, I love that poison effect. That is seriously vital. I hope they did that for other cards, because there are some cards, like the Vicious Drew shoots a Firebolt at a... Um, uh, well, it used to be an Elixir of Magicka. And what else? What else? It used to be changed. Or the Brutal Ashlander kind of made sense for shooting a Firebolt out of nowhere. But, um, we're both at 16. That's good. Because we have the same runes, but I have more cards. Although, being honest, I think that might have been one of my only. Well, there's three cars Reapers, right? And the 5 for a 5 4. That actually really hurts right now. Especially because it's got cover. I can shackle it. <sighs> I will miss out on a card draw. But, uh, oh, he did too. <laughs> okay. First things first. Let's try it here. Let's hit his face and give him the rune. Give him another rune. This guy will not get any more value. Do all that. That, is that going to regenerate? And become a 4, 6, or even worse, going to become a 5, whatever. Because, see, I can't place the Mace of Encumbrance. So... He very well could just get a free trade and whatever, and it has breakthrough. So it's going to give me a rune, though. I'm totally okay with this. Not going to double firebolt if that one do anything. Couldn't even do that. So he does not regenerate the debuff. Wait, what? Karis bite. I bit all of them. Interesting. Heirloom Greatsword could be an amazing finisher next turn. I wasn't even thinking about next turn, guys. Whoops. Probably could have... I could have killed him last turn. I could have killed him last turn, guys. My bad. If I just heirloom great sworded and made some encumbrance. Or one or the other. Uh, seven damage for the night wave. Actually, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to heirloom great sword. Good loom. And the reason why I put it on this creature is because it's got 10 attacks, so when I kill him, he doesn't get this rune to potentially save his life. Okay. Reverses. Whoa, what? Kiba blood. When you summon a creature here, reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by 1. And war zone, when you summon a creature here, do 1 damage to your opponent. What? I like the giant bat. Except I don't have the elixir, so maybe I don't. So you can only have one creature in the war zone, and... Is that six creatures in the surplus? When you summon a creature here, reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by one. Wow. So if he doesn't play anything this turn, I'm just going to Shrieking Harpy anyways, because it'll get me a cheaper Tome of Alteration. And this deals damage. I feel like this is more potent aside. Although, keep in mind, these are two separate lanes. 
Let's play this. One mana work, water, work, water, witch. One magicka, rather. This is a magicka system. Alright. Oh, did I say hello to my opponent? I sincerely hope I had did not, because I don't want... Good. Good. Okay, he did the exact same thing that I did. Zero mana. Uh, okay. Finish off is the way to go. Or is it... Yeah, I have enough mana to do it exactly. So reduce the cost of random card in my house by one. I said I hope it's not the finish off. Oh, it is. Well, okay. It's awesome. Unfortunately, though, he only played a three mana card, really, and I just used two cards to kill it. Oh, thank you. What a pro. Okay. Now we do have some good follow up actually, because again, Tome of Alteration is not going to get silenced or super destroyed. He has to contest it. Neither of these lanes are cover lanes, which is important. What? Oh, he did the same thing I did, where he played a card just without the summon. <laughs> okay. What to do I want to do? I want to play my Tome of Alteration, so this will survive this trade. And therefore, I have a 4-1 on the board that he can either kill with a card, but let's be real, it's going to be a Highly likely that he has, not necessarily a charge creature, but a one damage ping for this with the strength. The likelihood is incredible. But he has to deal with it, and it's just a two mana. I'd say a Tome of Alteration really is worth it if I draw a card and kill one of his cards and kill another one of his cards. That is a very valuable card. Especially if he doesn't deal with it yet. Mm, that's unfortunate. His hand's getting small already. Which is awesome. I feel like if I put a war Murkwater Shaman into this lane, it won't get killed. Which is cool because it will give me a lots of curses. Never mind, that's unfortunate. And I don't have my finish off yet. Hmm. Not going to attack that because it has to attack there. Three sixes with guard are very notoriously good at. Or notorious is not the right word. They're very good at. Defending. I just realized this tree is a Wappajack. That's pretty cool. Okay. I want to. I can only play one card, so I might as well play the most powerful one, yeah? The most expensive one. And I just realized, yes. I reduced a card in my hand. I could make this. A... If I draw a curse next turn from him, then I can trade that in there and still have this 3 3. Do remember, this is one of my only guards, so this is the last time Rickwater Shaman is really protected. At least probably. Oh, wow, that's powerful, and I can't deal with it. Man, Rickwater Shamans have a way of getting themselves killed. Seven. How am I going to deal seven damage to that? Because I only had one finish off. Lightning Bolt is not the way I wanted to do it. Especially because that'll be my entire turn. Just Lightning Bolt and trade. Not a fan of that. At all. That's missing one damage. Okay, how about this? Reduce card. That didn't change anything. That's six damage. Let's get the drain off of this. To save myself one life for... And then, trade there. And now, we're actually not looking too bad, because he, he might have the 1-1, one, one, but I have one more card in hand than he does. Although we both have, like, all of our runes, so this could all change. Let's just hope he doesn't play... Oh, what does he do? 2-4 guard. Which is unfortunate, because we would play our Tovani Arcanist, but now we're not going to. We're not going to Lightning Bolt that. I'm not going to play the second one, because I want... A card. I'll play this here and deal one damage to him. Is this only one creature? Or two creatures? Um, I did not think that was going to happen, where the lanes are split. I really do like the way the new... The subtle little things they've added. At least in this arena. It makes the background... 
Ouch. Is that permanent? It is. That's why we keep our lightning bolt. And is that all we do this turn? Luck of the draw! Wait, we're going to... Yeah, luck of the draw. Let's do this. Really? I thought I had mostly intelligence cards. Well, if I can kill this. Oh, that was until end of turn. Then I'm just going to take 5 days damage, and he's going to give me a rune. I'm totally okay with that. In fact, he'll give me two runes if he just goes all face, which I doubt. See, I'm thinking he's going to trade there. Yeah, that's smart. I can Car Sweeper, or I can Lightning Bolt. I don't like either of those, though, I'm going to be honest. Oh, who's my favorite Murkwater Savage? Now, actually, there's a chance that I could play Murkwater Savage, and reduce the cost of Car Sweeper by one, so I can play it in the same turn. But then this guy would just trade into the Car Sweeper, and that wouldn't be fun. So how about this? We're going to do that. And then we're going to use the more expensive Lightning Bolt on this. I think I have faith. Of course, now he has more cards in hand than I do. That's never fun. And I did reduce the cost of the Car Sweeper, like a legend. Uh, that's why we keep a, a lightning bolt. Or actually, Cards Reaper makes us a 3-3, and this is minus 1, minus 1. So, it dies without giving him any of the cool value. Except for the value of the sur surplus. It really depends on what we draw at this point. Okay, changes our plans. I can do both of these this turn. In fact, I can do both of these this turn. So let's do it. This will reduce the cost of the cards in the deck, in the hand. So, first off, can't we see I'm busy? No prophecy? Good. Boom. This does not pump up our man. Now we have one damage. Actually, I should have put this person into the fire lane to do one damage to him. Boom, boom. Because this Smirkwater Savage was not going to grow. So, now that we really don't care about the mana cost, we're going to put things in this lane. Except for the fact that I can only hold two creatures. Excuse me. He does have four cards, that's not cool. Do I really want to kill this, or do I want to deal three damage to him? Oh! That what? Oh, it was three, da three mana because of the thing. I'm thinking three mana piercing javelin. What is the world we live in? Hey! Okay. Let me do this, and this, and this. One damage to him. Boom. Gonna put everything into this lane. I'm gonna save this for face damage or for a creature he plays. And Ransack's actually not too bad here, because mana cost really doesn't matter. That's a lot of face damage we have. That can kill that. Did I silence him? Okay. Daring Cuppers. Now that is something I wanted to see. Okay. We can make him draw cards. I don't think that's the best plan here. So... We trade this. Do this here. In the wrong way! I put the Terran Cup person in the wrong lane. Should have put it here to deal one damage to him. It would draw him a card, but, like, let's be real. I would rather him draw a card than me reduce this if it makes one damage. And things like that happen. Although he didn't deal one damage to me, so it's weird. I can ransack it. This does not get pumped up. Let's do what we're going to do first and trigger his runes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. INTO THE WRONG LANE! Okay, next turn. Doesn't matter what creature I'm playing. I'm putting into this war song lane. War zone lane. I'll put this in the wrong lane. And now I'm going to have to put something into... Actually, I have a curse. Ransack. Never mind. 
giant snake, and I promised I would not put it into this lane. Well, now how is that working for me? Actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This does not go face. But I'm still going to do the play. Kashi just had enough. Okay, what's unfortunate now is he will get an attack off of this, which means he can kill this with the Nord Firebrand and do something else he would like to do. So we are going to get our final attack with him. We're going to save the Ransack. And I promised I wasn't going to play anything in here. I'm going to say to that I promise for once. He still has his two Magicas. Now what? I think I'm just one of the lane. Now I draw a card. Interesting that he didn't trade. He's at four life. I mean, I guess he knows that he's pretty dead. But what's it going to be? Kikablood. Or Kibablood. Not really. I don't see how you could have solved it. Unless he had a lethal in there somehow. He did draw me a card, though. To help me win the game. I don't think he can pull this back. Because there's a war. Oh, well, no, he has Firebrand. Both in that lane. Hmm. Okay. North Firebrand. It would save you, except that I have the Ransack. Oh. Even better. No guard. This was a worthy contest. And so we win after I get my curse. You know what, Murkwater Witch? When you survive, you are a really cool person. In fact, do we have two Murkwater Witches in our deck? That would be really cool. Thank you. True Harej, the Earth Bone. That looks like a human heart. So, said, creatures have regenerate. Have a room full of them here oh! Okay, bunch of three manas. We did not want that, but we, you know what we want? Hello. Luck to your house. I guess we have the... Wait, what? That's the first time I think I've ever had someone say, Hello, that was a mistake. <laughs> Hey, yeah, hello. That was a mistake. My I, yeah, no problem, bro. There's a no, there's not, sorry, not no problem. The correct, the correct wording is my pleasure. You want to know something cool? This doesn't pump anything up. It doesn't pump up itself. And we have a mostly blue deck. So I am totally cool with playing this 3-1 regenerate trade there. And if not, Firebolt into his guard. Because this these colors have lots of guards. Mm-hmm. 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 What you gonna do? Silence this guy? In fact, no, you can't silence the lane. It's not like they gain it upon entering the battlefield. I think they just have it from like a passive effect. So, we'll play him, and, wow, we have a bunch of loser defense cards, don't we? Pardon me. Yeah, we're just going to play our Camelorn Sentinel. I don't want to gain life, I don't even have a rune broken yet. This'll, as if he had any charge cards, but this'll protect the 3-1. Oh, that is just nasty. What do we have to solve this? Lightning Bolt. Or could I Maze of Encumbrance? I like the Lightning Bolt play a little bit more. So I'm going to do that. Unfortunately, we don't get our Giant Cut Purse out yet. But whatever. And then this is a 2 for... Hmm. This is... Hmm. He still has Regenerate, yeah? Haha! <laughs> Sucker! Sorry. I'm glad he didn't hear me say that because that was actually really rude of me. I will make a note not to do that in the future. Oh, what? Uh, uh. Sorry. That just causes him to concede, huh? Okay. 
Now we have three wins, one loss. Looking good. The Hiss Mage Caesar. Like the Pokemon. <laughs> Except I think I've faced this guy before. <laughs> Hope not. Fountain. That is a symbol from Magical Engines. Don't tell me it's not. Fountain. Creature with power two or less are summoned. Gain the ward. Creatures or guards have 1-1. One, one. Well, I don't have very many guards. That's a synergy, but... I want lower mana cost cards. Okay, this dex curve is not very beautiful, but we will work it. I think I do actually have a lot of fountain cards, but let's just hope that this character with the willpower does not somehow have very many. Oh! No, he did say well-meant marsh friend, so I must have said hello first. Sometimes I do without thinking. That's my bad. Hey, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, that is actually, that is really cool, because a really cool thing about this card is that... It is the threat of being at 5-5 five, five next turn, even though this is Arena. I used to be an adventurer like you. Okay, adventurer. He's going to give me a rune, that's beautiful. Now do we play the War Giant Bat, or do we play the Tovani Archivist? Uh, I don't know. This would not give Ward either way, so I think we just play this. Hey! So that is that right there. I can't give this a tone of alteration to make it live well, I'm afraid. And this is not a stealth lane, so he can trade that if he wants to, to save me a rune. Which, in fact, I should have just let him give me the rune now to think about it. I have a giant bat with Lord in this lane. So that's like pretty much two trained. Oh, and then a Tome of Alteration. This was a lot of life that I... I hope he attacks my face. It would be a mistake. Please do it. No ward. Cool. If I play this Lightning Bolt right, I can get a 3-3 trade like that. Or a Tome of Alteration trade like that. Yes, he's going face. And this is a spell, too. Oh, this is a spell, too. Yeah. Ward, Murkwater, Witch. I have the Elixir of Magicka. So you know what I'm gonna do? Gonna crushing blow him. Oh man, I am liking this one. This lane is giving me crazy value. I can also make this a 2-2 two -two in this lane, I just realized. Or if I use the... Okay, that's pretty cool actually, because that's a 2 meta card that he killed. All right, we're going to do this. And I think it is safe to play this giant bat. Mm. I don't wanna... Okay, let's play this giant bat. Give him a rune. And that's that turn. I think I just heard a different sound effect from this bat, which is kind of cool because, I don't know, new things are cool. He has a large hand and now he's gonna be able to make good use of this. Unfortunately, if I give this a Tome of Alteration, it doesn't guarantee very much. That didn't work for you, yeah? Okay. And now what? I can Lightning Bolt that, but I don't want to. I don't know what I can do to get this out of my way so I can play a Tome of Alteration, this, and attack it for free. I don't think I can. I can, however, play this Heirloom Greatsword and get a lot of life. Although, he has a big hand. But so do I. You only get so many shots at an heirloom greatsword giant bat combo. So let's do it. Bam. And I just realized, guys, he's just going to trade that there. If I do this, he will trade the 4-4 into the 5-4, but at least there'll just be a 3-1 on the board. I have three equipments in my hands, this is just not good. I want to play creatures, and I only have so many. What if I play him? 
That's actually really awesome. Hmm. And I don't want to play anything else. I don't. Because if I play at the Mace of Encumbrance, he, there's every possibility he could just kill it, and then I lose the, the, the cool part. Oh. That's annoying. But so is this. Unfortunately, though, this does not get ward. And that automatically got ward, but it's not going to matter. He's just going to have a really good ward to trade with me. And I don't have any two drops, so Car Sweeper it is. That's my turn. Nicely done. Thank you. Actually, I think that voice has been redone, because that sounded a lot more cunning. And I assume he's going to trade there. Uh oh. Wait, actually, not uh oh. What? That's good for me. Except for the fact that he got a spider Daedra. That's why I play my lightning bolt. And that gets a ward. It's the first time I've actually seen this card played. Oh, that's really not good for me. Especially because I'm really far away from my rooms. Do we want to risk the cunning ally? Let's risk it. Let's do this. It didn't work? I really thought I had a lot more blue cards in this deck. So I'm going to use this. And I can elixir into a Mace of Endurance. But I've already talked about why I'm not going to play the Mace of Encumbrance. Because that would not be making use of the, the ability it gives. It gives power and toughness to a creature. Or power and armor, I think it's called. Is where the Merc Water Shaman comes in handy a little bit. I'm starting to take a lot of damage because he has a really powerful board. Hmm. None of these creatures will be gaining anything. I like this play. Because he will probably get... I mean, he's got two cards in hand. Probably get me a curse. Probably kills that. And then I can probably trade into a lot of things. Especially Tome of Alteration. He's not really going to double fireball. Dude, what is it with Merc Water Shaman and not being a friend? Well, I like the idea of Tome of Alterationing, so I get a really favorable trade, like so. And then I play this here and get the actual card, right? What? Weird. We'll do this instead. And then he will trade this in here, maybe gain four life. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and then we have three cards. Hmm. What? Uh, he's not conceding. What? Oh, that what? These last two games I've won, I've not really won them. The opponent was just like, ah, I want to play some more arena, maybe, because this is a fun arena. Oh, I, I hope I have fun. Oh. I hope that was in tune. Okay. King of the Hill. Wow. I'm not... Uh oh, what, what colors are we facing? Uh-oh. He's going to have a very big King of the Hill thing there. Two drop, please. Nope. And campfire. When you summon a creature here, friendly creatures here gain its keywords. Uh-oh. That means I want to play Murkwater Savage into a giant bat. Because then I have a 3-3 charge drain. Well, charge not so much. It's not a stealth lane there you got there. Although, that's unfortunate because that means Murkwater Savage is killed by a 3-1. For no reason. Right? Okay. Oh, no! No! That means that this will activate, though. So we're just going to have to play by the rules. And get this done. How did this get drained? Oh, lethal. Lethal, even. How did it get lethal? I know how it got lethal. Hmm. This is really worrying, because that's a very good trade for him. They're both three mana cards, he just gets the free thing. Is that the first time we've seen the Ring of Magical Broken? Hmm. Maybe. Is a five -clawed killer. Oh no. That's really not good. Please don't do it. Man, if only I had 
two car sweepers at that cost. Hey, that's actually not bad. Because I can kill this, and then he trades one of those in. Probably this. And unfortunately, I did not give guard to all those. But I can give drain to him. And gain two life. I don't know that I want to do that. What do I want to do? I want to save this finish off for when he trades this man into the Camelot and Sentinel. We're going to do this. What else are we going to do this turn? Murkwater Shaman? Let's do it. And let's pray that he does trade this in here. And give me four damage. Either that or we might have to like Cunning Ally into finish off. Which is a risky play, considering how often Cunning Ally has been working for us recently. Ainlizer. Did I say hello this game? I need to think more about saying hello in the beginning of the games. I'm just going to say it right now. Locked just so I don't, don't do anything. No, the odds, the no charge, right? No, the odds, the no charge. I have a curse for that. I also have a curse for that, actually, now to think about it. Awesome. so I can trade in there really, really nice. Okay. So. Actually, I think I want a giant snake this board. Yeah. Giant snake. Why not? In the next turn, I can play the giant bat and give it drain. In addition to finishing off the giant cuppers. This is all going pretty awesome. And I can charge the bat into the 4-2 there. This is going really good. Until he starts playing those five power cards for the King of the Hill. Now to think about it, Arena, is he really going to play a five power card? No. So maybe I have the advantage by having four, at least four, five power cards. The three card sweeper. Yes, it didn't work. Although I can't do the trick I did last game. Go ahead. I can't do the trick I did last turn where I cursed it and so it couldn't kill me. I can lightning bolt. That's going to happen, right? To finish off. The longer I have this, the better. Oh boy. I can lightning bolt and finish off and kill that. But I don't want to. Fine, I'll do it. Finish it off. I don't think I do. Shall we begin? I think instead I make this a 3-3, and he'll want to kill it. So this is effectively a really weird, awkward removal spell for this 4-2. I like it. His hand is smaller than mine, and it's his turn. Except he has all of his runes. And I am missing mine. He's going to pop another one, I hope, this turn, and give me another one. And he's got six mana. He could very well play a... Oh, nope. Not a card draw. Okay, do I have a way to kill that now? Giant Bat, Cunning Ally, maybe. <laughs> I've had this for so long. It's gotten me two curses, right? In which case, this will be its third curse. In fact, yeah. That's really good. And unfortunately, he buffed up the dragon tail. The forest is out. And I did draw a card like I predicted. Hey, guard! That's how we save this murkwater. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I've got two mana to play my dying cuppers. I do like that plan. Mistakes were made. Watch this. He's going to draw a prophecy. No, he didn't. Good. You're supposed to attack them first, so they draw the prophecy and cast a spell to kill your Murkwater Shaman before you play your 5-4, in which case they would destroy the 5-4. With guard. He could give it lethal. He could... I don't know what he could do. Khajiit, yeah? Oh, that's annoying. Good thing we have curse. Times two. Is he going to trade that in for me? 
he's gonna draw me another card. He's gonna draw me another two cards. Oh, that's just lovely. For either of these lanes, really. They have three creatures. Okay. I have two curses, though. I can just kill this outright. And this is a guard in this lane. Okay. I was going to do that. He gets a 1-1. One, one. But I'm going to trade here. You know what? I was going to trade this into his face. So I'll just do that now. Gets a prophecy. Going to kill that. He's not going to buff it up or heal it, is he? There's no such thing as a heal. Oh no, not a 1-1. One, one, no. Okay. With one mana left, I can't do very much. But I can prevent this damage. And I just realized he has a 3-2 that will become lethal to me. So, good thing I have Cunning Ally, Giant Bat, Tome of Alteration, bunch of cards. I never did get the Giant Bat combo this game. Okay, he gets me the last card, and he has no cards in hand. I can't really do that next turn. I can, however, play the Giant Bat into Tome. I only have one curse. So that will hit me for six damage, but I've gained four life. That's two... Ooh, okay, so the math really matters here. If I play this car, Sweeper, I don't gain any life, and then I can kill his Bendari, in which case he's got three damage for me. Wow, that's risky. And then I have two mana to play a finish off. I think that's our best bet. Guys, what mistake did I make? I did not attack his face first, because I was going to attack his face. Actually, I don't think I will. Except for the... The whoever it is. The Khajiit. Thank you. Okay. So, he will not have drawn a Crushing Blow. He will not have drawn Lightning Bolt. He will not have drawn Breakthrough plus 3 plus 3. He will not have drawn the Mentor's Ring. He will not have drawn Nordic Firebrands or things like that. I don't think he can kill me this turn at all. And next turn, Giant Bat, Tome of Alteration. That will live. And give this drain. Yes! 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 Unfortunately, those both have lethal, though. <laughs> uh, do I just win the game right now, actually? I'm going to say yes without even doing calculations. Just let me do yes. And I have three mana to do whatever I get with this. Mace of Encumbrance. Yes, yes. I want to use this for the final blow, so let's just do the math real quick. I want to gain the life. Then I want to deal six damage to him. Or five damage to him. Easy. And we did five damage to him and then six. So that way, we did not give him a prophecy room. That is just... Excellent. That is just absolutely excellent right now. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, I'm going to pause the game here because we played six games and this video is getting pretty lengthy. So, we are going to resume this in a future episode, but that's all for today, guys. So make sure to like all the videos you've watched on YouTube. Fun, fun, anything you can do. Leave comments down below for conversation because that's cool. Subscribe for more content like this. And share this video with your friends if you think you would like it as well. That'll be all for today. See you guys.